everyone, and welcome to the weekly show, episode eight. We got tons of exciting things going on here, so let's jump right into our celebrity fan email. First up, Michael Vick writes in and says, "Hey, in case you were interested, Obama just had me and a pit bull over at the White House for a beer, and guess what? We settled everything." Okay, thanks for telling me. <laughs> also, we got another fun email here. Uh, hey, I love the show, but I hate you. Okay, well, to each his own. Uh, but you bring up an interesting point. You see that over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be introducing tons more new co contributors and new segments as well. So, uh, you just might get your wish. You might get more show and less of me. So stay tuned. Uh, and on that note, first up, let's introduce a brand new segment, uh, an investigation, where we present to you uh, something that you never had any interest in whatsoever before, but we show you behind the scenes of it. So let's get to that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for a weekly show exclusive investigation behind the scenes at a Subway restaurant with its fine, extremely sophisticated owner, Mr. Anand Vora, right here. How are you, Anand? Good. How are you? Great. Excited to be here. Excited to have Excited you. To this new, is our first on location. Chapter, yeah. The next chapter, investigative reporting right here. So what's new and exciting on the Subway menu? A steak sandwich. Steak sandwich. Philly. What? <laughs> the Philly cheese. What's new sandwich. about that? I've heard about Philly cheese. It's there's a subway twist to it. Ooh, what's yeah. the twist? Fresh bread and fresh bread. Quality steak. <laughs> so at Subway <laughs> you eat fresh. Don't eat stale. So Don't eat stale. We Don't eat, eat stale. Eat fresh. Fresh baked bread daily. What about Quiznos? Am I Quiznos. am I allowed to say that word you in here? You can say it. You can say it. I won't. I won't find you. Okay. Uh, Quiznos. As a brand is recognized, sure, but as a company and a corporation, maybe not doing so well. So Quiznos, you're going down. In the, what's this? Can you just give us a tour? This right here. You've never been in the subway. This is before? what happens here if you like to follow. This is the investigation. This, when everyone buys a soda, anyone buys a soda, every the soda comes uh, in syrup form. So this mm. is uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very delicious. Uh, I think. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> delicious. Un, un, undiluted. The what's the word? Concentrated. Concentrated soda syrup, which then makes its way through these. Pipes, Whoa. if you want to call them that. Tubing, 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 all the way through uh, to the front, whereby when it gets to the soda machine, it is uh, combined with uh, carbonation and water. Magic! Magic. David yeah. Copperfield, move over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anand is in town <laughs> making soda like this. <laughs> making soda. Uh, this is where the bread is. That is this leavened. Bread? Yes, the it bread is... rises in this uh, proofer right. here. That wow. process takes about 45 minutes or so, and then you throw it in an oven. You got some like. Oh, here. wow. This is. And Neil is a sandwich That's artist. Sandwich He's artist. An artiste. <laughs> with the sandwiches. I make the magic with the vegetables. He's an expert. <laughs> this is cool, Shadow. You would like this. Uh oh. This, uh, by the city, we're required to take temperatures of all our food every few hours. Oh. Whatever it is, room temperature, we'll stick it in something here. Look at this. And uh, by law, yeah, it's supposed to be below 41 degrees. This is the place to be, Subway, eat fresh, yeah. eat it on. Don't eat it on, that, that's not even relevant. Just eat fresh and have a good day. Mmm, now I'm hungry. Uh, let's go to another new segment called Palin's Place, where we track the media's obsession with that femme fatale herself, Sarah Palin. Get ready, this is gonna be controversial. Hello everyone and welcome to Palin's Place. You see here at the Weekly Show we like to do things unique that are not being done by anyone else in the media. And the fact is, everyone hates Sarah Palin. So I got some evidence which I'll show you in a minute. But when we're done with that we're going to come back here and I'm going to defend her and prove to you why she is the perfect blend of brains and beauty. <laughs> So, take it away. Former governor of Alaska, she's about a half a whack job, and, and she does not have the intellectual heft. It got mixed up because Sarah Palin was the one who was uh, 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 enunciating it. She has story. problems with that. Well, Sarah Palin only needs a red rubber nose and some exploding shoes, and she could go to work for Barnum and Bailey. The fact that we give this clown any time at all is shocking and silly and a little bit stupid. I've had a theory about Sarah Palin that if she was not physically attractive, she wouldn't be on anybody's radar. I don't read Sarah Palin's Facebook page and I don't follow her on Twitter. 
And when she's on VH1 dating Flava Flav, which is what I expect in a few years. Madam, you are a clear and present danger to the safety and security of this nation. Palin suggests the disruptive protests, quote, diminish our nation's civil discourse. Big words. See, this is what's great about Sarah Palin. She gets these morons all riled up that they don't know how to react to her, so they resort to just calling her names, when in fact they're just jealous of her influence because Sarah Palin has effectively changed the healthcare debate. By embellishing these death panels, she actually shed light on a real issue, a real problem with this healthcare bill. The fact is, it's 1,000 pages of nonsense. It's vague, it's overly complicated. The senators and congressmen who are drafting it and voting on it don't even know what it means. So by her forcing them to more specifically tailor these provisions and limit the government power that's being sought, uh, that's actually a good thing. We don't want these agencies that will eventually be developed to have unlimited power with vague descriptions of what they are capable of doing. So Sarah Palin, we owe you a thank you. So those morons who just make fun of you, ignore them, they're idiots. Here at The Weekly Show, in Palin's place, we want to say we look forward to your presidential campaign because, at the very least, it will make it exciting for everyone involved. So, until next time, where we continue to watch the media's infatuation with Sarah Palin, we'll be right back after a very short commercial break. Verizon Wireless, owner of the nation's largest push-to-talk network coverage area and the most reliable voice network in America. Can you hear me now? No? Can you hear me now? No? Can you hear me now? No? No! And I did it, bad little scoopy! Unlike Verizon, we don't make false promises. Here at AT&T, not everyone can be heard on our network, and we're okay with that. Plus, we like the handicapped. Get the hell off me! More bars in more places. AT&T, the best coverage worldwide. Welcome back. We're running short on time here, so let's go to uh, a very abbreviated Schneider on the Street. The Umbrella of Truth visited Brooklyn, New York. Take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are here late on the city streets of Brooklyn, and we are here live with two purple shirt wearing truth telling machines here. How are both of you today? Very good. Oh, you speak in unison. Do you dance in unison as well? You dress in unison, you talk in unison. Dance, Teresa, do what you gotta do. We're supposed let's, to let's dance. Let's see a in dance unison, move. Though. What are you gonna do? We could do the spanky leg. Okay. The spanky leg? <laughs> the spanky leg. This is called skanky the... leg? No, 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 no. Stanky leg. Oh, stanky, stanky leg. leg. Okay. okay. This is a G rated show. So let's just try to keep it. Okay, go. Okay, ready? The stanky ready? leg. Let's go. To the stanky leg. To the stanky leg. <laughs> <laughs> to the stanky leg. <laughs> wow. The street interview. I don't belong on the streets. You don't belong on the streets, no. We found you on the streets, but you don't live there. No, not at all. What are you? Is it in school? Are you... I'm a finance assistant. A finance assistant. F.A. You're... I'm in social right now. Uh, I knew you were social. <laughs> I could tell you were a sociable person. What do you do? What do I yeah. do? I hold the umbrella of truth and get truth out of people. I interview them. Who else is going to do this? <laughs> what other idiot will do this? Our job, I think. Do you have any other dance moves to go out with? Um, let the white girl come out. Oh, oh let the white, white girl. girl come out. That's the white girl. I knew they had a little white girl in them. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, folks. Ah, our time here is up this week. Ah, well, shucks. You probably only wanted so much of us anyway, so... Turns out, though, we got tons of surprises coming next week. We got a film fight movie review, our Middle East correspondent will be back, plus tons more new segments, so stay tuned for that. And remember, folks, you can always watch past episodes at weeklyshowtv.com. And... Write into us. Let us know what you like, what do you want more of, what do you want less of. That's the only way the show will keep on improving. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more excitement. And that's it for now. So see you next week, everyone. Bye.